Hey everyone, welcome back to Kayan Al-Bashar, where today we are building the fortifications of Castle Mashaf. Although I'm not going to show you guys everything being built, because then we would have an hour long video, so I'm just going to show you guys the highlights. So that is going to be the walls, or at least part of the walls of the castle. Then we're going to build the most iconic tower of the castle, and also the only tower you properly interact with in-game which also ended up being the most annoying build so far of the castle. And then I'm going to build the front gate, because that's actually in-game the only gate that the castle has. So, Karan Al-Bashar's version obviously is going to have three gates, because it's supposed to be the gateway to the Mirage Mountains. So, I thought it would be interesting to show you guys the one gate that the castle is supposed to have. But anyway, back to the walls that we're building right now. So I went a little bit extra with the walls because, well, I think it isn't surprising that I went a little bit extra, but I made them, of course, actually defensible. So they all have matriculations, they all have arrow slits, although the walls actually have a useless arrow slit because on top of the actual useful one, I built another one that is probably too high and probably too narrow to actually be useful but i just thought it would be pretty and also well even though i went off on the well still useless and weird flying buttresses that keep us i do know that castles also had things to look pretty because a castle is supposed to be a place where you lift in or where someone lived in so of course someone wants to make their home look pretty if they have the money for it at least and the relative stability slash safety for it so i did add a useless arrow slit just because it looked better and also to set it apart from all the towers that the place has because yeah it actually has quite a few towers although i am well this is something where the games kind of differ because, well, the games, concept art kind of differs because in some images there's a extra tower and in some images there's that tower is just gone. Also, the tower that we later are going to build, which again, I think is the most iconic tower. Yeah, that also had some changes between games, or at least so far that I saw. Or at least the concept art looked a, gave a little bit of a different idea of the tower. But anyway, so as I said, I added a useless feature just because it looked pretty. But the game also did that because we are right now building kind of a useless arch that is going to sit in the wall because it looks pretty. I don't see any like defensive capabilities or structural capabilities of this archway. But as I said, it's a castle, there's supposed to be someone or multiple people living here. So yeah, you kind of want to add things to make your place look pretty. But uh, there might be some like structural capabilities like, you know, just like a pillar or something like, you know, giving a little bit more support to the wall because the walls, I think if I'm correct or if my memory serves me correct, is... Um, 12 meters or 16 meters high so yeah not something you really want to fall off from so i did make a point of making sure that all the ramparts have proper well fencing and just made sure that you can't fall through the matriculations because every tower well not everyone the one iconic tower actually doesn't have this but Every place in Castle Myself has matriculations, except the iconic tower because of things I will get into later. But for the walls, this is where I ran into, well, me realizing that I might have been off a little bit more than I could chew because, uh, yeah, we are right now building one of the two straight sections, Castle Myself has when it comes to walls. 
I am not that good by with building round sections of walls. Like I can build a round tower that's kind of similar to building a dome, but without making it into a dome shape, just making that circle and then, you know, all that technique to make that. But making a round wall is a little bit different. So I'm basically using the template wall that I had left to the side to try and make that. But um, it isn't my best build so far. It just is passable. But I just thought like, all right, I can spend the whole day at this. Or I can make it passable. Can, you know, try to overshadow it with the towers, which... It is like the sections are not that large or the round sections aren't that large. So yeah, I just made sure to overshadow them with the towers nearby. But um, yeah, it's building a round tower is easy because you can just hide things very easily in the places that you don't see. A round wall is a little bit more difficult because there's just more things or at least there's less place to hide things in. So in the end, it was just like, this somewhat works. Just, you know, don't pay too much attention to it. It's all intentional. So yeah, that's just the biggest thing when you don't really know how to make something look good. Just hide it. That's also something I did with the Iconic Tower, which we're getting too slowly, but... Um, yeah, the round sections of the wall were way more annoying actually than a tower. Because, uh, well, they take up the majority of today's video. So I think uh, that's uh, something uh, at least. Also, for sh I, well, it's a little bit realistic that there's like the low lower section of the wall. Or at least it's like uh, one, um, well... I wanted to say one foot, but just, you know, one step lower than the actual outside of the wall. But uh, it makes kind of sense because, of course, if the castle get breached and you still have control of the walls, you still want to have a little bit of a defensible location on the walls so that you're not shot in the back. Here is also where some of the images of Castle Myself differ because... I think in Revelations there's actually like a backside rampart or, you know those what do you call them like i forgot the name for it again but at least there's like a backside defense to it in some art and in some pictures there isn't which i think you know if you have a very ornate looking one side of the wall or at least the front side of the wall then you would at least also put some time into the backside so that you aren't shot in the back so yeah i also made that but that was one of the more annoying things actually because that's where actually the wall pieces intersect so that was just like all right um where are the towers again where can i hide this stuff in i guess uh yeah so basically because these wall sections are multiple pieces like they're multiple buildings i did make a blueprint out of them just so that's easier later for me to place them not that I'm going to put this on the workshop, because again, it's a mess. It's just literally like you can see how the wall pieces intersect and I'm trying to make it work. Yeah, don't make me build rounded walls. Because I will make a mess of it. <laughs> or at least, it's not really like a mess, but it's just not up to my standards. Or at least, it's not one of my favorite things to build, I would say. So, um, yeah, I'm really just waiting until we get to the tower because that's actually an interesting part or at least doesn't make me just curl up into a ball of like, why did I build this? Or at least, why did I not make this look a little bit better? But yeah, in the end, I just stopped caring about it and just built towers to overshadow it. So now we're actually to what I would call... Well, first I called it the most annoying part, but then I kind of got traumatized by the memories of building those round walls. So it's annoying, but in a different way, which I'm going to get into later. But we are building the actual towers that you interact with in-game. 
which for some reason you always jump from this tower. So I'm just going to call it the, the jumping tower because it I think has no name in game. So, you know, just to give it a name, it's a jumping tower. But the jumping tower is basically a one large round tower and then three smaller towers just smacked into it. And one of these smaller towers has this sort of like balcony slash terrace slash gallery area where you actually jump from. Or at least there's like a little bit of like a ramp that you jump from. Which I thought would be really hard to build. Because it's like with pillars and such but it's also rounded. In the end it actually proved a lot easier than I thought because... I basically just built one pillar and built a small half arch to it and then just did the same thing as I do with domes built when I built anything around it's just pick it a middle to it and then just rotate it so uh, in the end it did work out and here is where if you can't make it look good then just hide it or at least make the not so good looking parts hidden so the top of the arches of course because it's rounded but the actual pieces are squares they look a little bit strange when they actually intersect so i basically just added a band on top of it so that you can see it from the outside and then later on i actually also made it sure that the ceiling of this part of the tower is low enough that you also don't see that intersection so again if you don't know how to make something look good or don't or are not able to make something look good just hide it i'm really curious if i'm going to release kean al bashar or at least the mirage mountains which is getting closer and closer because again castle my shaf is going to be the last big build of the mirage mountains i really am curious how many of you guys will just go in and look at all the things that i've hidden over the time that we spent here because uh, they're definitely I think if you really look at the well actually the temple not so much mostly actually the village of Karsenik where there's just some building pieces that are intersecting and yeah let's just not go too much into it let's just forget what I said everything looks good but uh, yeah the actual in-game tower is a little bit plain or at least in game or at least if you make it directly into planet zoo it looks kind of plain because planet zoo when it comes to like structure like let's just say all the small things that you see on the towers in assassin's creed of course you can't really recreate in planet zoo because they're just too tiny like damage to the walls on some sections like that's i think very hard to do especially if you only have a few pieces that are recolorable so in the end i did kind of made it a little bit more detailed added some more like supporting pillars or supporting beams or supporting stone beams whatever you call it but also the tower or the jumping tower i that somehow sounds really weird to me the jumping tower but i well how can I say this? This is the only place in the entirety of the castle that doesn't have meticulations. Or at least doesn't have that offset between what I call the ramparts, but it probably has a different name. I am like 100% sure it has a different name, but you guys know where I place the arrow slits and such. That's in most of the castle is like offset from the actual wall. Here I didn't do that because let's just say I thought building the this tower was already going to be hard enough. It's already the heaviest of the castle when it comes to peace count. But uh, yeah, that's basically why I didn't add the meticulations to this tower. Also, this tower is basically built on a cliffside. So enemy soldiers can't really get close to the tower so there's no real need for meticulations because the enemy can't get to the base of the tower unless they are already inside the castle and even then it doesn't have that much use unless you're getting to the door <laughs> so yeah also 
This is something that I noticed later, but it has a little bit of like an extra thing on top. Of course, uh, this I should have known because how else are you going to get to the top of the car or the top of the tower? I did, however, just made a mistake when I built this tower. So the tower, as I said, is made out of basically four different towers or at least two smaller towers then you have the tower where or the smaller tower that you actually jump from or it has the jumping gallery then you have the larger frame of the tower and always keep a copy of all your building pieces because i built those smaller towers or i set them into the base and i had one tower i think on the wrong place and i tried to you know backspace into getting the tower off from the original base of the tower or the larger tower i couldn't do that so basically i had to redo the entire larger tower and that's why i think this tower is the most annoying also because there are basically two or three actually four towers intersected all of them had ramparts and where those ramparts intersected or all where all those defense you know what I talk about or what I am talking about where all of those went over each other I had to delete those all manually my game actually crashed halfway through because it was just like click delete click delete click delete it was a workout for my fingers but it was kind of just painful well not painful it was well it was painfully boring and my computer couldn't handle it after a while it was just like this is too much of the same thing do something different no i'm going to crash so yeah anyway so as i said it the tower has a little bit of an extra thing on top which probably is the reason to or the way to get up to this tower but um yeah it's now actually i think the highest point of the castle and it actually makes sense like the castle myself is completely taken from the game however the location and how it sits like where the higher walls are makes sense because the higher walls are all located to the mountain roads so the higher parts of the surrounding well terrain also has the higher walls so it completely makes sense also it looks really nice when you look at it from the mountain roads so uh, yeah didn't suspect uh, or didn't think that was really going to happen. I thought, oh, I'm going to need to use a lot of plants and such to make this look good. Now that uh, jumping tower looks kind of amazing already. I still need to add the windows though because I didn't get time to do that. So that will probably go into the next video. But now to the front gate, which I actually had to look up missions of Assassin's Creed both Revelations and the original game, just to make sure that I got it right. Because in all the reference pictures that I've used so far, you can't see the gates. So I had to actually watch the missions and how to pause them at the right moment to actually look at how the gate looks. And I think it's the most elaborate thing so far. Like all the walls and such kind of are, I would say, bare compared to the gate. There's actually wood being used, which is a rarity in Castle myself, because I think the actual like portcullis is made from wood. So that was, I remembered it was like, it, it looked like wood. And then I thought like, all right, I need to make sure that it's this material. It looks like this. So yeah, I watched a lot of Assassin's Creed today and last day. Yeah, I watched a lot of Assassin's Creed. So probably have a problem by now. But anyway, so the gate actually is sort of rounded. It's like, uh, it's not completely rounded, but it has the, well, how do I call it? It has an angle to it. It's not just straight gates. It's a little bit offset from the walls, which in a way doesn't make sense because you usually want towers to be all set from the gate so that you have like basically a little bit of a square 
that is gate and then enclosed by towers on two on two sides and then of course path going through it so having the gate being all set instead of the towers was a little bit weird but all right because the castle is basically built in what seems like a canyon or ravine like uh, place it did however have those like assassin symbols or yeah the assassin symbols on the gate which i mean for an organization that's supposed to be all about secrecy putting the symbol just right front and center kind of realize why this place was abandoned later on oh i should probably add a spoiler warning but i mean the games are now what 10 years old so if you haven't played them by now yeah it's not that big of a deal the place was later abandoned because it was too hard to defend but again if you put your insignia or symbol right from the center your enemies are going to find you but yeah i really like actually how castle myself is now just turning into the biggest build of the mirage mountains still nowhere near the station i think by now it's like 20k maybe 30 so it's still lower compared to the station and actually i still have very decent frames i still have 60 unless i'm building because then it just drops a little bit but yeah that's actually most that i could talk about so i did want to ask you guys something else because i want to finish off the well most of the mirage mountains but mostly castle my shelf this week however i have planned the new side project for sunday but if everything goes well then castle my shelf will be finished this week so i wanted to ask you guys do you first want to see that side project that i talked about or do you guys want to first see castle my shelf being finished and then wednesday next week we will have that side project so do let me guys know what you guys want to see first because actually i have thought about the side project and i think i'm going to completely revamp it i'm still going to be able to have it out on sunday but yeah let's just uh say what do you guys want to see first castle my shelf being finished or the new project being well released in a way so yeah that's basically it for today i hope you guys had a lovely day i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i wish you all an amazing day bye bye